We are doing nothing, just panicking. Russian Belgorod residents. In an intercepted call published by Ukraine's military intelligence, residents of Belgorod, Russia express their fear and uncertainty about what to do and where to go as fighting between pro-Ukrainian Russian fighters and Russian forces reportedly continued in the border region. In one recording, a woman tells someone, seeming to be her husband, there is a house-to-house -house poll about evacuation. We did not open the door. They are asking who is evacuating and where. The woman says that a friend, Zenka, living nearby, received an offer to evacuate to neighboring Voronezh, west of Belgorod. That's what they offer. But there are no offers anywhere else, the woman tells the man. We are doing nothing, just panicking and waiting for something I can't even tell for what exactly? Meanwhile, another intercepted call published by RBC Ukraine suggests local authorities are blocking evacuations. Korachansky, a district in Russia's Belgorod region, was shelled and taxi drivers were shot at. I don't know how our people will get there, a woman says. The rail line has already been unhooked. That's it. No one is allowed to go there or back. I don't know. A Kyiv Post source in the Ukrainian security services said that Belgorod authorities are blocking Russian civilians' evacuation to keep people present in the region for the March 15th to the 17th election. Starting last Tuesday, anti-Kremlin Russian volunteer fighter groups, the Russian Volunteer Corps, Freedom of Russia Legion and the Siberia Battalion began battling the Russian army in a rebellion meant to coincide with Putin's sham elections. The leader of the Russian Volunteer Corps, Denis Nikitin, called on locals to evacuate. French troops will not attack Russia if they are deployed in Ukraine, Macron. President of France, Macron, commenting on his statement regarding the possible deployment of troops to Ukraine, has said that he is not certain about it, but does not rule out such a step, according to TF1 Info. An interview with the television channel regarding the possible deployment of French troops to Ukraine, Macron responded, we are not certain that we will do this. We are currently in such a situation, but we do not rule out this option at the moment. I assume discussing this possibility, he continues, we have put too many restrictions, so to speak, on our vocabulary. We are not in escalation. We are not in a state of war with Russia. We just need to be clear, we must not allow Russia to win, Macron adds. The president of France is convinced that the war in Ukraine is existential for our Europe and for France. France is a force for peace. Just today, for there to be peace in Ukraine, we must not be weak, and so we must consciously look at the situation and we must, with determination, will and courage, say that we are ready to use means to achieve our goal, which is to ensure that Russia does not win, Macron states. He has noted that in recent months, the situation has become much more complicated for Ukraine. And so I tell you with great responsibility, the beginning of 2024 must be a start for us, Macron says. He is convinced that if Russia wins in Europe, there will be no more security as Russian dictator Putin does not abide by his commitments and will not stop at Ukraine. The security of France, the security of Europe and the security of the French are at stake, Macron believes. Regarding the new escalation that will drag us all into the conflict, Macron has said, I sincerely hope this is not the case. Undoubtedly, today, Russia is an enemy. The Kremlin regime is an enemy. I have always said this. We are not at war with Russia and the Russian people, and we support Ukraine. If Russia continues its escalation, if the situation worsens, we must be prepared. And we will be prepared, adds the President of France. Ukrainian intelligence intercepts conversation, evacuation ongoing in Russian Grevoron, Belgorod Oblast. Ukrainian defense intelligence has reported that authorities in the Russian Federation's Belgorod Oblast decided to evacuate local residents due to the operations carried out by Russian military volunteer groups. Intercepted conversation of a resident of the Russian Federation, a fragment of which was provided to Ukrainska Pravda by a source in Ukraine's defense intelligence confirmed this. An intercepted conversation with a local resident indicates that the people of Graveron District, Belgorod Oblast, Russian Federation, are being evacuated. Uncle texted, basically, that buses are standing or going. Graveron is being evacuated. Mom called me. Dima called. They said they were evacuating, says intercepted conversation. Vyacheslav Gladkov, the governor of Belgorod Oblast, reported on Telegram that the Graveron city district was again attacked by the armed forces of Ukraine. Gladkov stated there are casualties in the city. 
The Russian Volunteer Corps then issued a call to all residents of Kursk and Bryansk oblasts who did not have time or were unable to evacuate to seek shelter immediately. Russian volunteers from the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Sibir Battalion and the Russian Volunteer Corps liberated two settlements from the Putin regime and the Second Army of the World and continue to hold them. The volunteers said that they also decided to go to Putin's elections. Moreover, in Ukraine, what they say in the liberation forces of the Russian Federation is only the beginning. Part of the village of Tetkino, which was liberated by Russian volunteers, changed its name in Titchin, and fighting is underway for another part of the village. In addition, it became known that the border of Lozovaya Rudka of the Belgorod region was under the control of the liberation forces.